There's a hadith the Prophet said, perform Hajj and Umrah repeatedly for they expel poverty and sins just as bellows expels the scum of iron, gold and silver. And the righteous Hajj has no reward other than heaven. Narrated by Tirmidhi and graded Hassan Sayyid. Alhamdulillah, mashaAllah, we had a wonderful, wonderful group this year. But Alhamdulillah, we were able to accomplish a lot such as going to Uhud, climbing up to the cave to see where the Prophet wasallam was taken during the battle. We also had the opportunity to visit uh, Battle of Badr, the site of Battle of Badr. And then when we came to Mecca, along with Taraweeh and Qiyam and fasting and so on and so forth, we also had the opportunity to visit Ghar as as well where the Prophet wasallam took refuge along with Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq anhu, during Hijrah. And then from there, a night after the 27th of Ramadan, we had the opportunity to visit Jabal al nur where, where the cave of Hira is where the Prophet ﷺ received the first revelation. All of this was possible in our trip of 10 days, all only with the will and the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, so far the trip has been excellent. We just uh, finished our travels to the city of Medina and now we're inshallah going to Mecca. We're fortunate enough to have a person with us who had a lot of knowledge of the city and he was able to show us around. I am here on the top of Mount Thor, uh, literally on top of the mountains over here. And I have been ecstatic to come over here. Uh, it's something I've been wanting to do for many years. This at least gives us an idea of how hard of a journey it was. And you can see behind me is the cloud tower. So that cloud tower will give you an idea of where the Kaaba is. So that'll give you a, a, a decent amount of an idea of where the Prophet Sallallahu house was. They stayed in this cave for about three days and we it took us about two hours to climb up here. This kind of just helps teach me how the Prophet you know, what, what he experienced when he came up here. You know, people, you can get really emotional just being up here as, as what's happening with the sister here, I think. Last night we had Laylat al Qadr in the Haram Sharif. Uh, mashallah was very memorable. We had a very large crowd and gathering and it was really amazing. And to come here the next night to Jabal Anur and to visit the cave where Allah SWT started the whole book, the whole Quran with the first five verses. It's very, very spiritual, very, very emotional, um, very historical experience that puts everything in perspective. I came up here today to the cave of Hira because I really wanted to experience the Quran. Now I've read the Surah of Iqra Bismi Rabbika Allazi Khalaq since I was a little kid, but making the climb up here and, and you know sitting in the same cave, well, almost sitting in the same cave that the Prophet used to sit in and to meditate in, it really it helped open my eyes up to kind of what the Prophet used to do. And so now when I teach my kids about this surah and when I reflect on this surah, when, when I hear it recit, you know, recited in Tarabi, I'm able to better reflect and better understand what, what exactly happened. This was done solely for us to really rekindle ourselves with the seerah of the Prophet to build our love for this deen for Muhammad whom we claim to love. We want to do this so that we can build this relationship and understand the trials and tribulations that the Prophet went through. Understand the struggles that the Prophet and the companions went through. And also learn about how things were. Oftentimes we read and we, we hear these stories but really to put it into perspective, it cannot be done unless and until you visit these places. It's my first year with Herman Travel and um, Alhamdulillah I've been able to do a lot of good things this Ramadan and this trip to Medina and Makkah. Um, you know, in one of the things I was able to do a few Umrahs, um, you know, get Qiyam, uh, Taravid, all those things that you know, we've been able to do. Um, Alhamdulillah, it's been a really good trip. 
I highly recommend everyone coming and uh, joining Sheikh Omar for the Haraman Travels. Uh, it's been a really great experience to help you out and, uh, and I look forward to coming back here again, inshallah. If you want to experience what we had experienced, join us this year, inshallah, meaning 2017 for Ramadan. And I'll post the information in regards to that on our Facebook page, Haramain Travels. Do follow us for this video and many others about our experience that we had experienced this year. Jazakumullah khairan wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.